Peace. Let's get it, class. All right, we're going to go and do this. XRP history. XRP history. Why did XRP make history? XRP made history because what? They won the lawsuit against the SEC. So it's been declared not a security. Ripple is a cryptocurrency. It is the first cryptocurrency ever, right? It's official. Like this is the one that's official. It's on the books. It's okay for everybody to use it. It's okay for them to touch it. And the main people who are going to be using XRP will be businesses. XRP is a product. Let's make sure that we all on the same page. XRP is a product. Ripple is the company. Ripple is the entity that controls the product. Ripple is the entity that is going to be partnering with the governments and the banks to move the money from your chase, from your credit union, from your cash app, from all of the ways that you know about moving money. XRP is the one that everybody's been talking about. Everyone's been waiting on to win. So now that they've won, every single thing that I've been telling my class, that I've been telling you people, is coming to light. It's coming to fruition. So here's another key word. There's 8 billion people in the world, 8 billion people in the world. 1 billion of these people are familiar, know about cryptocurrency. Half of those people, so what, 500 million people are actually utilizing the cryptocurrency in many different ways, right? If you're watching this video, then you obviously know you're in the 1 billion, you're in the 500 million. If you're new to this, welcome to the club. Uh, I definitely want everybody to take advantage of this information because things are about to start moving a lot faster, as you can see from how the market was moving this past week after the news. So let's say, uh, let me just do a quick example. XRP, what's the benefit? What's the utility? Why should you know what this is? For example, let's say you live in Africa. I live in America. I need to send you $500 in whatever currency you use in your country. Because of the limited bank services and money services in different countries, most people don't have banks, don't have access to the money supply in the world. This is one of the problems that Ripple is solving. They're giving everybody in the world access to the money supply. Because at this point in time, there's no excuse for you not to be making money, getting money, having money. That shit is out here and in abundant. Now, I need to send you $500. I don't have the currency you need, so I'm going to send you $500 in United States dollars. When you receive it, it will become $500 in any currency that you want. So if you live in Jamaica, if you live in Paris, if you live in anywhere else outside of the United States that does not use United States dollars, I will send you $500 in United States dollars and you will receive whatever currency that you want on the other side. That's why cryptocurrency is going to make things faster, safer, and cheaper. Look closely to the Fed now service by the United States dropping at the end of the month because instant payments is the whole gimmick here. Like being able to get your money right now with all of the back office stuff that used to go on. They killing all of that. All of the banks, everything is upgrading. Everything is switching right before your eyes if you're not paying attention to it. The way you send emails is changing. The way you keep track of your identity is going to change. Everything is changing for the better. Um, you know, things are going to be a lot less fraudulent. I'll say that. And that's what's been the hold up with this, because the people that get to control this and use this are still going to have the advantage. This is the type of shit that's going to make the rich richer and the poor poorer. So take heed to that. I am not going to do a deep dive into this website, ripple.com. Do your own research and learn and find out what's going on here. Okay. I just wanted to note that Ripple XRP is going to be providing this cross border payments, basically sending money from country to country without issues. Liquidity for all the people in my class, you understand how important liquidity is. They're going to have automatic access to liquidity for everything, basically. And then the CBDCs, which is the central banks. So like your United States dollar, your euro, your yen, they're going to be helping them move that kind of money privately on the side. So these are three different things that Ripple and will be doing using XRP because the countries will use the product XRP. 
Customers will use the product XRP. The governments will use the product XRP. Even to use their central bank digital currencies, they still need to use this product to send it, right? They're going to send 500 of United States CBDC to France. And they're going to use XRP system to do it. And then France is going to receive $500 in francs or whatever the hell they use. So that's what the cross border payments is, CBDCs, and then this liquidity. Um, you can check online for many, many resources, bullet points, data, information is abundant. Okay. And then here you got the website, right? I'm not going to drag this out too long, but just take heed. Remember, Bitcoin is the first commodity, first crypto commodity and xrp is the first cryptocurrency and get your bags up i'm out